Oh, there, I'm gonna look for another bill. I feel like I can get another bill. Alright, that's the guy. Yeah, that's the guy we got. It's more important for scrims than imp. Uh, ring armor, bracer. I think ring armor is more important, but bracer is a better overall upgrade because it helps castles as well. <coughs> is this APM like seven billion? Holy, holy, holy moly! What's up, alcohol? Alcohol addict? Are you uh, are you new to the stream? This is pretty standard around here. I I I don't think of it, but I guess it could be a bit of a shock if you're new. Okay, go ahead there. That's Does invasion help TCs too? Yep, only damage no range. Yep, absolutely. Pick up that woodland on the corner here, playing as the Spanish. I got motion sick a little when I first turned into the stream. Damn, did I play too fast? Maybe I should slide it down. I feel like that could actually block me from getting new audience, to be fair. That played too fast. <clears throat> it was popping, Roxy. I'm more of a DAO player nowadays. No, no, no. I'm like, I'm like a fast DAO. I'm a macro player. I don't care to micro, but I just do the macro faster. <laughs> and, uh, that, I'm like a faster version of DAO, basically. Same mentality. Just do it slightly faster. Maybe not better, but definitely, definitely faster. Which is more important for skirmishers? Bracer or ring archer armor? For the second time, ring archer armor, but bracer is a better upgrade overall. Not much in you, not much. Not much, just playing some AoE. Early day for me today. I'm gonna to be grinding quite a lot this week and just in general these days, especially before AoE 4. Right, let's go ahead and fill in that boar. Awesome, awesome possum. Very nice. Am I gonna go all in on AV4? No. <clears throat> I'm gonna try it out. When does AV4 hit? 28th to 29th of October, or something like that. Pretty smooth here. Might be the server then. Expectation for AV4? Uh, seems good. I think when I when I first saw it, I didn't like it because it didn't remind me of AV2 at all. It reminded me of AV3, in fact, and I don't like that game. Um, but after I see more and more gameplay for it, I try I tried to see it in the light of it's like it's its own game. It's not like AV2, and it's not meant to be like AV2. And so that helped me kind of like it. I'm pretty excited to try it out now. Yeah. Definitely pretty excited to try it out. I think my biggest worry is the competitiveness. Competitiveness of it. There's a lot of things I've heard that it just... Uh, doesn't. Sc it, it screams more like a, like a chill, casual game. More about single player and stuff. Rather than like grind it 10 hours a day multiplayer. But we'll see. We shall see. I'm playing as the Spanish. Pretty, um, pretty bad civ overall. But we'll see what we can do with them. I'm gonna open some scouts here versus Berbers. We'll probably try to get into Conks as well eventually. I have a really good map at least. 
Yeah, I have a pretty good map. Can't block with buildings in before. Yeah, I heard you can't wall with buildings. So I think it's going to be more of like a military heavy game. I, I, I personally, I haven't played it, but I personally think like early game cheese is going to be what, uh, what is going to be the meta at first. That's my prediction. But I haven't played it, so I could be completely off. But I personally think early game cheese and just attacking fast is going to be really good. Hero will be number one player in AV4 for sure. Yeah, definitely. There's for sure people who are playing it a lot in the beta as well. Like, There's for sure way, way better AV4 players. But I'm going to try to actually like get good at it. If I if I enjoy the game, I'm going to try to get good at it quite, quite, quite quickly. Let's see what I can do. Would you leave Twitch for the right offer from another platform? <coughs> Mm, don't know. <clears throat> All right, stable down. So I'm gonna open scout, then probably just shot a wall, and then either in castle play. Hmm. I think we just defend here, guys. I think I want to play it safe for this game. Do the classic, just two scouts, wall, and then just set up the base for later. I can't take any risks with Spanish because if I if I take damage, I have no eco bonus to fall back on. So better play it safe here. We got horse caller. Uh, we actually didn't. That's a good point. Probably should pick that up. That's my bad. On those three farms, but not the end of the world. A4 looks bad, accept it. <laughs> I love how you're saying accept it. Like everyone's like, if anyone likes it and has a different opinion, they're just in denial. There's no way they can have a different opinion. I think that fight on the promise of maybe a hole. Yeah, there is actually a hole. That should be in. No. That's really unfortunate for him. I actually feel with him. I had a hole earlier today. I hate to see it. It's not the worst because it's just scouts, but. Yeah, this is so bad. Archers would definitely be worse. But this is not the pretty a situation for him because now he's got to deal with four scouts in his base all because of a hole not even a mistake just happens good mix of players though today we got like dog out a little bit got a really good mix there how do kongs do against camel archers pretty bad because it counts as a camel archer uh, it sorry it counts as a cavalry archer so a camel archer has a bonus against it yeah so i'm gonna get cleaned up here for sure <laughs> Might even just run around and try to get another bill. Instead, we'll see. I'm gonna try to buy time maybe as well. Okay, I'm gonna continue looking for things like that, like just villages I can get. So I'm not gonna go conks. I don't think it's wise. Trading for Scott HP does nothing, so I'm not gonna even bother. I'm gonna look for another bill. I feel like I can get another bill. Poten potentially, but he's defending really well against that so far. 
Alright, that's the big guy. Yeah, that's the guy we got. <sighs> okay, I got him. Oh! Dude, I can literally feel myself like... I was like, a single tear almost came down my my eye if I didn't get that one. A2 super easy in the eyes? I can take it with that. I like the 2D uh, setup that they have. Can we just agree that AV2 is one of the best games of the last 20 years? And AV2D has been a great remake for it as well. I need to disable that in options. We can definitely agree on that, I think. So I'm gonna go second stable. This kind of sucks to go Knights versus Berbers, but I am up two bills. Um, AV2 sucks, bro. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Don't talk like that about my career, man. I've studied this game. I have a PhD in it, man. Okay. That's depressing. <clears throat> Got a couple hits though, at least. That's beer. Imagine being an AW2 streamer. I can't do that myself. Get some pickup on armor as well. Oh, Forgin could be better though, because it could kind of open up to some pikemen switch down the line. What's up, Ekin? So getting a couple of scouts myself would not be the worst idea. In fact, I think I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna open one TC immediately. Right here, just grab a TC and probably just go with a monastery as well right away. So it seems pretty good to me. Knights are just like if you're wondering why two stable knights, it's just for map control. Uh, another hole, dude. Wow. I can't believe that. Unless that was intentional? Or did he do that to get the scouts out? Not sure. Not sure to be honest. Go straight for the wood line here. And I do have forging. The forging was really good here. So I might be able to kill Bills faster. Wait, why are you coming out here though? Why, why is there a vill there? Like, hello? That's so weird. It's another TC here. Yeah, start picking up these relics, why not? Then she start breaking in. Right, just house walls. Is he doing camel arches behind this? I'm not sure, to be fair. Not sure. Oh god, house. Not the best game. Yeah, camel arches. So good thing I didn't do conks. He's doing a few camels and camel arches. Good thing we didn't do conks. Uh, ideally, we would have had, like, I don't know, crossbow or something, but. Oh no, we don't, we're Spanish. Whoops. <laughs> well, ideally, we would have a sieve with crossbow. That's fair. That's a fair sentiment. Maybe I'll need skirmers to play, but I have to transition to that later.
Wait, hey, there's no way he lets me get that. I think his scouts will come kill me here. He knows there's a relic there, so I don't think he should let me get that. And he's gonna try to stop me now. Not sure what to do. I think maybe a, just a seed shop can be good. But uh, I think I'm in a really tricky situation. I don't. I really don't know what to do here. Feels like all my units are bad against camel archers. Nothing I can do about this. My my civet just has no counter. Camel archers. Not from this game state, at least. Maybe not knights are than play. Maybe not knights. I'm also worried about him dropping a forward castle. By the way. Okay, I'm gonna just try to go Paladin. It's so bad, but I'm gonna just try to go Paladin. Oh! Gotta love to see it. That's exactly what you like to see. I have a hole. Oh. He left. He's taking a lot of damage to these. I just wonder, like, is he doing heavy camel switch? Cause like, that would be really good, but I don't, I don't think he expects me to stay on paladin cause it's just a bad choice, generally speaking. I have to end the game fast. Oh, okay, I'm just not allowed to take that relic, I think. Sudden, he's interested in fighting. Before he wasn't, and now he is. So 
Uh, no upgrades on camels, so he's stuck to camel archers. This is a good fight, skateboarding kicking in. Uh, probably could do, it could be better, I think. Okay, he can't just run into me though, like that's not allowed. Play Barton kicked in, it's fine. Commit to more power than me. I actually think I just have to commit to more power and kill him. Or Cavalier or whatever. It's difficult. Oh, I'm gonna damage my own cavalier. I'm trying to kill him using window of opportunity. We need to get supremacy now. So the supremacy is going to make the bills very tanky. And allow me to actually push for that forward castle. Macro player so we don't micro. A lot of bills, gotta just fix my eco. Yeah, we, we took that hill using supremacy to secure it. Camel Arch. 
There's a supremacy bills he's taking out though. It's not easy to kill those guys. And he realized. <laughs> That's why I'd have to flinch. Alright, let's kill the next castle. If you kill the castle, he has no more production, so. Sometimes you don't even you don't need the counter unit sometimes, sometimes you just need the timing. And GG! We got the timing! Yo, good stuff! GG! Oh, yeah, beating Camel Archer with like a bad matchup. I will say we got lucky with the holes. We took two villagers, definitely true. Um, but I also think that like we <laughs> we did a good job of pushing this hill in good time. Yeah. Like pushing that hill was was very crucial because like should he have three three castle camel rush production four castle even there's no we lose in like two minutes in two minutes if I give him two minutes of that production he'd just make like thirty camel rush and it'd be like unstoppable but I kind of fought him before that supremacy was really important giving my bills extra stats basically just doubles their stats around and uh, yeah really really nice all right good stuff. I had way more bills there as well because then I have to invest into the castle. So better eco, worst unit. And I just push for the, the timing.